The cows were lying on the ground in the field because they thought it was about to rain, and they began talking about the good cat Poplar. Poplar had been kept faithfully by old Lady Villeneuve, but then old Lady Villeneuve died in her kitchen and had not been found for three days, even due on Poplar's meows. When a neighbor finally opened the door, the good cat Poplar ran out and was lost to the wilds. He had some trouble because he was used to not having to forage for food and tended to walk around a bit spaced out. But Poplar was a quiet fella and soon got the hang of sneaking up on mice. Meanwhile, old lady Villeneuve's funeral proceeded under an appropriate sky. She'd wanted a dusk funeral and got it. There was only the neighbor and the priest. Poplar was right to run away on his own because Villeneuve knew no one who would care. Poplar was meanwhile nervous about some bird that looked like it could kill him instead of vice versa, and then he was skittish about some structure that didn't quite match the forest. Villeneuve's funeral went away without a bump, and the old lady stepped from her cremated ashes and slipped from her vase and stepped from the mausoleum and ghosted back to her tower block and lurked on the corner outside, watching her flat's dark window and wondering what was going on. She thought back to the sight from her casket when she didn't mind the wood and the roof of the hearse being in the way of seeing. Meanwhile, the good cat Poplar kept on, just like the cows.